order, then the sheriff was out there pursuant to a valid court order and has a legal obligation to put you out of a house. The problem but, is... But, but, but I, think she, I, I think Natalie's concerned that maybe the sheriff's were at the wrong address. Well, yes, have you, that's have exactly you, right. Have you, oh, you've, you saw the order and it's the wrong address? Did the order yes. have your address on it or a neighbor's address? Do you know? They had a neighbor's address. So they, and they, we were just trying to tell them that they were at the wrong house, but so the, they wouldn't so listen the, to us. I'm sorry. The order was correct, but they misread the address on the order. Yes. Oh. That's not good. Well, no. And, and the injuries could be pretty bad because uh, your husband's uh, not able to drive the truck. He's probably making a decent salary on it. You're a homeowner. No, these are not too good times to lose a job. No, no. Um, yeah. Well... Since it's the sheriff's department, it's an interesting question. Uh, it, it was probably a valid order issued by the court. Then the question is, was the sheriff's department negligent or careless in, uh, in the enforcement of the writ of possession to take you out of a house when they got the wrong address on there? Now, that's, that's part, but what, what was the deal with getting into the argument and breaking the guy's arm? Yeah, how'd that happen? I mean, like I said, they were just, you know, talking at first, and then, you know, they started um, arguing, and I, I have really had no idea how it even happened. I just saw my husband go down, and, you know, them grab him, and he yelled. And Did they arrest just him? a big mess. Did they arrest your husband? Uh, they tried to, but, I mean, his arm was broken. I had to take him to the hospital. Okay. Oh. Well, this is the kind of case that I think you should go see. Uh, a personal injury lawyer. Normally, when these things happen, uh, they arrest the person for, quote, assault or attacking the officer, and that's the basis why they've, quote, uh, used f uh, force on him. It, it sounds like they've used excessive force, and you may have a case here. Uh, you probably only have six months to file a claim uh, against the county. So I think in the Lomita area, there are a number of fine uh, personal injury lawyers. I think I'd go get a, a free consultation with one and see if you can get a lawyer to take it on a contingency basis. Uh, there is a South Bay Bar Association. Uh, you can find them online or um, through the operator or through the phone book, and they have a referral service. I would call that. If you have any difficulties finding somebody, you can call us on the 800 number where we're not on the air, and we'll try and get you someplace else. But this is well looking into. There may be total immunity here, which means you wouldn't have a lawsuit, but there may not. Someone has to look at the facts, read the police reports, and see what they say, interview the witnesses, and then make a legal decision. But I wouldn't wait very long on this. It, it, seems, it, it seems like there's layers here. We, we've got showing up at the wrong address. Is that negligence? But there was no injury as a result of that. But then there's perhaps, I'm, I'm not sure, but perhaps there's excessive force. Was, was there an obstruction of justice which would, which would justify some use of reasonable force? These are questions that a lawyer is going to have to sort out later. Well, normally, they would, if there was a crime committed by your husband attacking them first, they would normally arrest him. to, to Even with the broken arm? Even with the broken arm. They'd arrest him and they'd take him to uh, L.A. County Harbor General and have yeah, him looked at. Yeah. Well, you've got a lot to do. Natalie, I've got a question for you. Who's in, yeah. the, world, who's in the World Series this year? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, well, you don't get the free dinner or lunch. All right, uh, Natalie. Well, but it was nice talking to you both. Thank you so much. Well, call thank us. you for calling Legal Help call, Live. Call us back in a couple of weeks and let us know what's going on. Absolutely. Can you imagine that sitting in your house? Yes. Watching. Uh, not the World watching Series. Watching Glee. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Or the, or the Biggest Loser. Yeah. And suddenly, knock on the door, sheriffs come in, uh, or. <laughs> the staff just said, or cops. And the sheriff comes in, has a, quote, lawful order, but he's at the wrong place. The wrong address. Yeah, you know, you see that sometimes in search warrants, but I don't remember ever hearing about s the sheriff serving an, an eviction order and having the, the address uh, being at the wrong house. Well, I'm, I'm sure that goes on. I it's guess so. It's a typo. So. It, happened, it happened to Natalie. I mean, that's how we end up in wars and stuff. It's a typo. It yeah. was yes, not wrong no. Wrong country, wrong country. You want the country on the other side of that canal over there. 
Uh, yeah, our, our director wants to know if it's a Ren versus a Rack. We well, don't know. N- I'm not getting it. Can't, I don't, can't get those I don't mistakes. get into political issues on this show. No. Uh, can't do Nor that. international issues. Okay. In that case, let's go to a break. All right. We'll be back in just a little bit. You're watching Legal Help Live. Ralph here, Steve there. You're calling us at 1-800-405-4222. That's how you get in to ask a legal question. Steve, the, in, in the first quarter, the first uh, part of the show, we had a very, very interesting call where a young lady's husband's arm was broken uh, by sheriffs when he was trying to explain to the sheriffs that they were in the wrong house serving an eviction on somebody who should have should have been the other house across the street or next door. Too bad. Tough. Well, no, Maybe we, there's a lawsuit there. We talked there. about the potential liability. It's yes, there. we sure did. So uh, we, we have some videos that we're going to show you. Which one? Which one are you ready to go on? How, well, you, we mentioned animal attack before. We, we've, we've got a tape uh, where there's an animal attack. Are we ready to roll that out? Okay, they they know, need a second. So what's, what's the liability of an animal attacking some person? I guess it depends on the circumstances. Well, um, I, I remember the movie Anchorman where, where uh, he ends up in the bear pit. Yeah. Uh, why don't we watch this and see uh, what the liability is or if there is any. Oh, there, okay. Well, I can see it's a panda. So the panda's got the guy. Panda's got the guy. Wow. Okay, let's assume this guy's... They're pulling him in? No, they're pulling, they're pu- the panda. It's a tug of war. They, they got the guy away from the panda. Let's show this once more. Yeah, let, let's see. Oh, the panda's happy. That's a very cute panda. He's eating the shirt. <laughs> okay, let's run it one more. So there's somebody at the zoo. Look where he's sitting. Sitting in front of the panda. Boy, is he lucky he had a guy there. Uh, yeah. yeah. Panda's 10. Wow. Oh, my goodness. He's losing his clothes. He's coming out of his clothes. He's going into the cage. You can't go. Okay, the clothes are gone. I assume that the guy's back is scratched up a little bit. So now he's at. What, what are the respective liabilities there, kid? He's at a. Well, first of all, I don't think the pan has got any insurance. <laughs> he, he doesn't. He doesn't look like a. Rich well, I can tell you one thing. Although, if he's a. I well, don't think it's a black and white question. <laughs> That's right. Sorry. So, I mean, normally you sue someone who's got insurance or has a, a deep pocket. But this looked like it was at a... Uh, that would be in the kangaroo section. <laughs> Sorry. This looks yeah. like it was at a zoo, right? It looks like a zoo, yeah. Um, 